Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Glenn here, and welcome back to another Transformers review. This time we'll be reviewing the leader uh, Transformers Legacy Leader Class <clears throat> G2 Lace Prime. There is Lace Prime, and like always, we'll take a look at the box first. So get out of here, big man, for now. There you go. Here's his box. You have Prime in his truck mode and in his robot mode. Transformers Legacy, Leader Class, Transformers, Kara, Transformers Legacy. And you have all the stuff on the bottom, on the back. And if you want to scan that and look at Laser Prime stats, you can, if you want. He takes 30 steps to transform him in his truck mode. And the legacy, lo lovely legacy artwork, which is fantastic. You got Prime, Hot Rod, RC, Blaster, and Bulkhead, and Cybertron, and the logo. And that's about it. And that is it for the box. Set it off to the side. And we will bring uh, Laser Prime back in here. Come on, there you go. Here is Laser Prime in his truck mode with his trailer on. We'll take the trailer off and look at that real fast. The trailer is very nicely colored in the gunmetal gray, which is fantastic. Uh, and the red here, which, is, which does look very good. I do like it a lot. And this red on the bottom. And this little compartment. You can put your trinkets or his stuff in there. There you go. Rattle. That's about it. Anyway. And this thing can open to become a little battle station. All you want to do is just tap this. Then, yeah. There you go. And there you go. I won't take too much time on the actual battle station itself because I can't be asked. I can't be bothered to, to be honest. So, he got his little tanker compartment thing. No bad. Put that off to the side. And now, here we have Laser Prime in his truck mode, which does look very nice. It does remind me of Movie Prime, uh, Bayverse Prime, because of the elongated nose of the truck and the flames on the truck. And that's about it. But the overall look of Laser Prime is very good. I do like the red uh, flames and the black detail. The darkened windows, kind of, you can kind of see the crap on the inside, but eh, it's fine. Shh, it's fine. Anyway, uh, and the blue on the back, got that. And the lovely detail here. And there is the bottom, which is not very kibble heavy, what you got this, but it's the shoulders, but who cares? <laughs> but. Uh, before we get into transformation, uh, we will take a look at his accessories first. Here he has this little axe uh, shield doohickey thing, which you can fold up by just folding this up. There you go. Right. And next you have his sword, which does look very good. Nice uh, Cybertron blue. And you can indeed combine these together. Just got to force it in like that don't know if it's supposed to go down any further i'm not too sure but i don't know something like that there you go display it however you want to because you're a toy all right now we will raise up z camera where we can indeed transform this man up into his robot mode. First thing you want to do is take these panels here and just unclip them and bring them up. Same thing on the other side, unclip them, bring it up. Bring this whole leg section down just a little bit to for clearance to get out of the way. Then take the arms, untab them from the truck itself. Then, what you want to do is just take the whole front of the cab and just, just 
break in half. And there you go. Raise up the shoulder guard thingies to get them out of the way. Then you just want to bring all this up. Take this whole chest piece area and just bring it all down. And take this piece and just tab it in. Back like that. Take this front section, just bring it up. Then once you got all that done, you just want to take the arms, bring them out. There you go. Bring the head around, bring it down. Get this all straightened down here. And take these, uh, the side sections that you untabbed at the start, bring them into the chest, and it fills out the chest. And now you can indeed tab this in to those, twist the waist around, untab the legs, flip down the feet. Now, we almost done. Now, you just want to tab the arms in. Rotate the bicep around until it's oriented properly. Same thing on the other side. Stay tab in, you piece of crap. Anyway, then you just want to fold this panel down and flip the hand out and rotate it. Flip it back up. Same thing on the other side. Flip it down. Flip the hand out, rotate it, and there you go. Then you just want to take the, the shoulder sections and just bring it down until you hear click. Just hinge it down until you hear click, and there you have his shoulder sections. Then you just want to take this red piece, fold it up, and it will just tap that whole thing in. And there you have Laser Prime in his robot mode and i do love the robot mode just as much as i do the truck mode they both look very good for for both uh both things the truck and the robot uh the robot is very interesting to look at it is different from what we're used to, what from what i'm used to because I'm not, I didn't really get big into G2, I guess, <laughs> I guess, but one thing we do get, i use this as a, we do get another matrix, there we go, yeah, yeah, there we go, yeah. and we do get another matrix, which is very see-through. And there you go. That's how that looks. Very different from uh, the G1 Matrix. But that is okay. But I do really like the detail on Laser Prime here. His shoulder... Actually, his shoulders can actually... Pop out. These little... Oh, uh, cannon things. I don't think they come out as far as I'm aware of. But there you go blue cannon thingies missile things anyway but the detail on laser prime himself is fantastic that head sculpt is ridiculous very good very good very good for $50 that's very good for what you can get with this man to be honest but the overall detail of laser prime is very good I do like it a lot actually because of how it turned out looking a lot of people were like and eh, we just rather just do g1 and just leave everything else out no no we want g we want g2 well i f i find g2 perfectly fine for the toys it probably don't even care for the cartoon but that's besides the point i just really like the detail on all of laser prime like, it's ridiculous. Like, the arm, the hand, the shoulders, the chest. Everything's not painted, painted, but that's fine. I don't really care. But he can indeed hold his weapons in his hand. Come on. 
Hold the dang thing, man. Well, he can hold it. I ain't fed with that. <laughs> but for articulation, for the articulation, uh, his head can move, but mine is very stiff on mine. Up and down, left to right, but mine's very stiff on mine. In and out at the arm, up and down at the arm. Elbow bend, bicep swivel. Hand rota wrist rotation. High kick. Back kick. Knee bend, which you can see more detail there. And a pivot. And that is about it for dead. Yeah. I do really like this figure. This figure is very, ni very, very, very nice. But that will be the end of this review. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, click the like button and click the subscribe button down below. And click that notification bell down below. Stab down on every time I upload. And uh, I was gone for a little bit like a couple days or so, like three or four days or so. But I'm back now. Sorry for the wait, I've just been busy a lot of the time, so I didn't have time to film anything. But now I do, and uh, like always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.